since I'm an aviation dork, let's go check it out. Good morning. It's about 3.10 on Thursday morning. Drinking my first cup of coffee. So I'm about to start my adventure and travel all the way to Spain and meet up with my family. I might even see them in Frankfurt. Um, so what I'm going to do as I got Alaskan time right here and I'm going to constantly show you all my what time it is as I arrive at my destinations throughout my trip so I'll have to start and then I will leave here go to Seattle and then I have a long way over in Seattle and then I am heading to Frankfurt I have about a three hour layover in Frankfurt and then I head to Spain so Let's just see how long it takes to get me from my house to the hotel in Spain. So since the kid's been gone and Kirsten, um, I've been trying to keep up with all the eggs that the chicken's been laying. Unfortunately, I can't so... Um, the guy who's going to be taking me to the airport, I'm going to pay him the eggs. Couldn't keep up. Couldn't eat that fast. So I took my first Uber out of the airport and now I am going to go check out some aviation stuff. So Boeing's plant is in Seattle and as you can see behind me, I don't see if you can see too well, back there are the new refueling aircraft for the Air Force that's going to be replacing the KC-135. And so I am here at the Boeing Museum of Flight. Since I'm an aviation dork, let's go check it out.
you've seen the movies, the uh, controllers have won all the launches, like Apollo 11, and and uh, there's actually the parts of the real console from Houston that is here. So you always think that's kind of a movie-ish thing, but hey, it's actually right here. So the big rocket that took the gentleman to the moon right behind me just so you can compare is just one engine. I think they had four of them. As you can see it goes up. Yeah. That's some serious power. from the mood so it's pretty surreal to see that that same pod that is in the movie <laughs> right there that same one it's not a movie it's actually real footage um it's sitting right there so it's pretty it's very protected they got a lot of security around here just to make sure no one messes with it so it's pretty cool It's just a really sharp, cool aircraft. Look at that too. I think that's three 50 cal machine guns in each wing. Now, I know there's some places around that has these aircraft that gives rides. So, Kirsten, Father's Day gift? You know what to do. Here in the World War One Museum, they have all the different ones, like the Fokker and a bunch of other uh, World War Two, World War One aircraft. I'm sorry. And some of these billboards are saying that, of course, they are World War One. They were considered like heroes, even on both sides. They said it was even noted that when they got shot down and landed in enemy territory, that the enemy would come up and actually shake their hand and talk to them about the amazing things about them flying and just. You know taking the fight to the skies they even said that most of the time that if they shot a pilot down and uh and died that they would fly over and drop notes uh giving gratitude um or i'm sorry condolences to to the fallen and uh showing respect to that other pilot so very uh i would say world war one was probably uh pilots were very honoring each other respecting each other but at the same time doing what they had to do Seattle at 
the public market center. So let's go check out the, the fish throwing and see if we can find some good food. So, and drink something, charge some of my phone and my camera battery up. Now I get through security, go find my gate, start the next leg of this venture. So, let's do it. It is now about 4:15 p.m. Alaskan time, and now I'm about to board the airplane and head to Germany. Hey guys, we're checking in from Germany. We are going, we're about to go on the airplane to travel to Spain and we're gonna meet Papa there. Well, he should be in the plane now. Yeah, I think. We were trying to find him, but the Frankfurt airport is really big. So there is no way, and I think he's at a different terminal, so we couldn't even find him. But in two hours, we will meet him. So it's just after 5 o'clock in Alaska, so I have been on the road over 24 hours. Um, I have about an hour before my next flight starts to board and head into Mallorca, Spain. So I was hoping to meet up with my family. I have no idea. I think their connection is in a different terminal. So I don't know if I'm going to catch them, but we'll see. If not, I'll see them in Spain. So I'm a little bit hungry. So, of course, what do you get when you got a little bit of time? Robert. So, I'm gonna chow down on this, get to my gate, and then head to Spain. So, I've made it to Spain, but of course, one problem to, to end this trip. My bag's not here. And then I've been waiting for an hour trying to find it, and still, nothing. I think Kirsten's playing plane just right, so now I'm gonna go surprise them. <laughs> What's up, man? I miss you. Nah. 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 
there's palm trees here guys I haven't seen palm trees since we were in Florida and that was like 2011 2010 so a really 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 long time I was like six jeez go get us some good food yeah and then go to the hotel because we're tired did you just get us going over the island. That's Maya in the car, sorry. And we're all tired. And we'll see you up north. Bye! Bye.